Finding a new home for your golden retriever is a difficult and sometimes heart-wrenching process. I know, I've been there. Hi, I'm Robin Adams, and I'd like to take a few minutes to introduce you to Delaware Valley Golden Retriever Rescue. Our sole mission is to find forever homes for displaced goldens. No matter the reason for giving up your dog, you can rest assured we have your golden's best interest in our hearts. As I mentioned, I've been in your shoes, looking for a suitable home for a golden retriever I could no longer keep. Behavior problems with my first dog, Emerson, led me to answer a free to good home ad for a companion golden. The relationship didn't work and I was left to find a home for the new dog. It was heartbreaking. I knew some of the horrible consequences that dogs given away as a result of free to good home ad face, so that isn't an option. To this day, many unscrupulous people pose as loving adopters who answer these ads, only to turn these dogs into puppy mill breeders or worse use them as bait in dog fight training. As a result of the process I went through to find a home for my golden, I discovered a huge void for placing these wonderful dogs and founded DDGRR, and has been my compass since 1988. I've been instrumental in helping rescue groups throughout the United States and Japan get started, as well as authoring the book, How to Start a Rescue Organization. I've served on the Golden Retriever Club of America's Rescue Committee and received their humanitarian award. I'm not telling you these things to boast, only to help you understand my commitment and that of our team to the breed and to rescuing displaced Goldens. Hi, I'm Faye Jenkins, Intake Manager for Delaware Valley Golden Retriever Rescue. DVGRR has always had an extensive screening process for potential adopters, including checking veterinary references and using a home visit volunteer to ensure the new environment meets our standards we maintain for our very own Goldens. Every dog entering our care here at Golden Gateway is treated with love and kindness until we can find the perfect and permanent home. Some dog owners and their other rescue groups prefer the foster home system. In our early years, DDGRR used foster homes and discovered that the foster home usually adopted the dog for themselves good for the dog, but not so good for us because we continually used our time and resources to find new foster homes. Meanwhile, other displaced Goldens slip through the cracks. Hi, I'm Dennis Stauffer, kennel manager and trainer here at Delaware Valley Golden Retriever Rescue. Uh, we established Golden Gateway in 2000, allowing uh, DVGR to reach out and rescue even more Golden Retrievers. We know that giving up your Golden may be a very difficult thing to do and your mind immediately draws images of overcrowded shelters and smells uh, and barking dogs. Things are very different here at Gateway. Air is exchanged in our facility with specialized equipment hundreds of times a day. Sleeping quarters are power washed daily and the Goldens in our care sleep on Coranda dog beds with blankets. Bedding is washed and sterilized daily as are the numerous toys that dogs enjoy. Goldens at Gateway eat premium food and receive the medical care they need at our on-site veterinary center. People are fearful of the term kennel, but have you ever noticed that your Golden probably has a special safe or favorite spot where they like to uh, hang out under a table or in a corner? That's their secure safe spot. Our living quarters are their safe and secure spot during their stay with us. The sides are white PVC tongue and groove slats and our kennel doors allow for some privacy, but also allow for air circulation. Their body heat can make a closed area very warm and uncomfortable very quickly. We could have beautiful glass doors, but that's a cosmetic issue for humans and not for the comfort of the dogs. I inspect our Golden's living quarters to ensure that all areas are up to my standards. And the Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture inspects our facility regularly. Our reports from them are always excellent. Our manners training uses positive reinforcement methods with lots of hugs and kisses as their rewards. Our entire staff at Golden Gateway is here for the dogs. The day starts at 7 in the morning and all the dogs are out for exercise at least six times per day, either walking the perimeter path or playing fetch in our two acre fenced yard. We also have play groups for Goldens that are social with other Goldens. It's cheese snack time at two in the afternoon and they nap until four. When it's potty time, dinner and more interaction begins again. Regardless of the weather, our staff always takes our Goldens out for play and exercise. At nine o'clock p.m., it's time for their nightly peanut butter Kong snack 
and lights out for the night. Caring does not end when the lights go out at night. Our resident caretaker lives on the premises and comes into the kennel if any dogs are barking or making noise at night. But we often joke that the dogs are so happy and tired that they are very glad to see us leave at the end of the evening so that they can get some rest. We truly understand the difficulty of your decision. It will be easier knowing your Golden is in a place dedicated solely to his or her comfort and happiness. When our adopted Goldens return for events or boarding, without fail, they run to the front door, wag their tails, and are very excited about seeing their old friends. Golden Gateway is a wonderful, happy, and clean place. You have my word that your Golden's needs, whether physical or emotional, will be met and that we will be sure that his or her new home will be a home that we would be secure placing our own Goldens into. Thank you for your consideration to Delaware Valley Golden Retriever Rescue to help you and your Golden. Please contact us with any questions you may have.